Venus, the second planet from the Sun, and our closest neighbor, Venus is a mysterious place. The third brightest object in the sky after the Sun and the Moon, it was named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Similar in size, gravity, and even composition to the Earth, it is often called our sister planet. Yet Venus, nicknamed the Morning Star, may be the most inhospitable planet in our entire solar system. Welcome to Space School. Venus is on average 108,000 kilometers from the Sun. Since the beginning of recorded history, humanity has been fascinated by Venus, but humans will probably never visit it and almost certainly will never colonize. Lead can melt at temperatures close to 900 degrees Fahrenheit on its surface. This unfriendly climate is the consequence of an out-of-control greenhouse effect impact brought about by heat caught underneath the carbon dioxide rich atmosphere. Sulfuric acid clouds whipped up by hurricane force winds drift across the surface as a result of unchecked global warming. The atmosphere is so thick that meteors frequently burn up before reaching the surface. Venus's atmosphere has more acid per cubic centimeter than a car battery. Its thick atmosphere and hellish environment it creates on the surface has a bright side. Most of the light that hits Venus is reflected back into space. So here on Earth, the planet shines brightly even when the sky is not pitch black. Amazingly, astronomers hypothesize that Venus may not have been such an inhospitable planet when it was young, when it was more like Earth and covered in liquid water. But being closer to the sun, the higher temperatures caused the water to evaporate and dissipate high in the atmosphere, reaching the edge of space. The water's hydrogen and oxygen separated and the water on Venus was lost forever, leaving behind a brutal desert-like landscape, wind blown, bone dry, and scorching hot. Some scientists estimate that there may be as many as 100,000 volcanoes on Venus. Similar to Earth, Venus has a central core of iron and a mantle of molten rock. Most of the surface is covered by wind-swept plains, but more than 1,500 gigantic volcanoes jut out of the landscape. The tallest Mont Mons is over 5 miles high, almost a mile taller than any other volcano on Earth. Another odd feature on Venus appears to be carved into the ground. Arachnoids, huge cracks that resemble spider webs, can stretch hundreds of miles sprawling outward. They're like the Grand Canyon on a huge scale, covering an area as large as the Dominican Republic. Venus and Mars are the only planets in our solar system that do not have any moons. It takes Venus 225 days to complete one revolution around the Sun. The planet rotates the most slowly of all the planets in our solar system with a single rotation taking 243 Earth days. This means the day on Venus lasts longer than its year. A year on Venus lasts about 225 days. A day on Venus lasts 243 days. Until the 20th century, its thick atmosphere made it all but impossible to study. But today, using radar, ultraviolet imaging, and infrared photography, astronomers have been able to glimpse what lurks beneath the planet's dense cloud cover. And scientists have done more than just observe Venus, the goddess of love, from afar. They've landed a spacecraft on the surface. On December 15, 1970, the Soviets, for the first time ever, successfully touched down on Venus. However, on this hostile world, their space probe, the unmanned, Verena 7 remained operational for just 23 minutes due to the extreme atmospheric conditions. It has been over 30 years since NASA visited Venus, but all that is about to change. Now NASA is sending two bold new missions to study this inferno-like planet, Da Vinci and Veritas. Da Vinci will analyze the thick crushing atmosphere of Venus and will determine whether or not Venus has ever had an ocean. Veritas will visit Venus to map the planet's geological history, revealing the inner workings of this brutal world.
Together, these two NASA missions will help uncover the clouded truths of the shrouded world. This new generation of space vehicles may not pave the way for mankind to colonize the planet, but they may provide understanding of what went wrong with Venus's climate, which could help protect Earth. This is Space School, signing off.